Imagine being super rich and famous with billions of dollars in your bank account, your very own private jet, and a luxurious yacht. But you also have to deal with pesky paparazzi, crazy fans, creepy stalkers, and even security threats. This is what many rich people and billionaires face every day, but they still have to move from one place to the other. So how exactly do the richest women in the world enjoy their travels without being constantly bothered, exposed, or put in danger? It's a secret, but we're going to spill the beans. Let's dive into it. Francoise Betancourt Myers. Francoise is the super rich lady who inherited L'Oreal, the biggest cosmetics company in the world. She's also the richest woman on the planet, with a net worth of over 88 billion US dollars. But Francoise Betancourt likes to keep things low key and private. She's not into flaunting her personal life or her travel adventures. When she hits the road, she rolls with a tight-knit crew she can trust. No big entourage, no bodyguards, unless it's absolutely necessary. And of course, her car collection is pretty cool. You'll usually find her in a swanky Bentley Continental GT, worth $240,000, a sleek Jaguar F-Type, costing around $73,400, had a super cool Porsche 911 Carrera S that sells for $117,100. Talk about cruising in style. When she travels, she's all about avoiding the hustle and bustle of airports and big crowds. She owns her own private jets, like a Bombardier Global Express, and has a massive 76-meter yacht called Altair. But here's the juiciest part. She's a master of disguise. She uses fake names when booking things, so nobody knows where she's headed. And guess what? She's not into social media either. No sharing her secrets online. Francoise Betancourt Mayers is like a mystery woman, living her life on her terms and staying out of the limelight. Miriam Adelson. Miriam Adelson's late husband, Sheldon Adelson, was a big shot in the casino business and ran the famous Las Vegas Sands Company. Sadly, he passed away in 2021 at the age of 87. But don't worry, Miriam is carrying on the legacy. She's one of the richest women in the world with a net worth of $34 billion. And when it comes to traveling, Miriam is a globetrotter. She hops between different countries, like Israel, doing all sorts of cool stuff. She's got a very own private jet, a Boeing 737 to 700 BBA private jet worth $80 million. This jet has a range of up to 11,000 kilometers and a capacity for 19 people. It has a comfortable bedroom, bathroom, lounge, and even a dining area. Miriam also owns a $40 million penthouse in Tel Aviv and a $70 million mansion in Malibu with six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a wine cellar, a gym, a sauna, a home theater, a guest house, a pool, a spa, and a tennis court. Her $70 million yacht also has a pool, a spa, a cinema, a helipad, and a tender garage that can be converted into a heated seawater pool. Rafaela Apont Diamond. Rafaela Apont Diamond is a super rich lady who is part of a power couple. She and her husband, Gianluigi Apont, own MSC, the biggest shipping lie in the world. And get this, according to Forbes, she's the wealthiest self-made woman on the planet. Now, as you can imagine, being in the shipping business means having a thing for boats. And Rafaela and her husband are no exception. They own not just one, but a bunch of awesome boats. They got the San Lorenzo motor yacht called Amo, the motor yacht radial, and the Perini Navi sailing yacht CA is 14. Rafaela Apont Diamond lives a super fancy life, and one of her favorite ways to travel is on MSC cruiser ships. But get this, she doesn't just hop on board like any regular passenger. Nope, she personally decorates those ships with all kinds of cool stuff like artwork, sculptures, and fancy furniture. Talk about making a statement. Gina Reinhardt. Gina is Australia's richest person. She's a billionaire mining magnate and an heiress, and Forbes even estimated her net worth to be 26.9 billion US dollars in 2023. Her life is all about luxury. She travels around in her very own private jet, and when she's not flying high, she's staying in the most lavish hotels and resorts. Talk about living the high life. Gina has a crazy collection of expensive cars, fancy jewelry, and stunning art pieces. She also owns properties all over the world, like a mansion in Perth, a fancy penthouse in Sydney, a farm in New South Wales, and even a swanky apartment in Singapore. She's got places to stay wherever she goes. Suzanne Clatton. She's a super successful businesswoman from Germany. 
In fact, she's the richest woman in the whole country. And you want to know how she got so wealthy? Well, her parents, Herbert and Johanna Quant, were big shareholders of BMW, the famous car company. So it's kind of like she inherited a super cool fortune. Forbes says she's one of the world's richest women, and in 2023, they estimated her net worth to be a massive 25.3 billion US dollars. That's a whole lot of zeros, folks. But let's get to the good stuff, her luxurious lifestyle. Suzanne travels around in her very own private jet. One mean who needs commercial flights, right? She stays at the most exclusive hotels and resorts, living the high life. But that's not all. She's got a passion for collecting beautiful stuff. Her collection includes amazing art pieces, stunning jewelry, and probably a bunch of cool cars too. Now Suzanne doesn't just own fancy stuff, she also has properties all over the world. She's got a beautiful villa in Kitzbühel, Austria, a swanky penthouse in Munich, Germany, and an estate in Bad Homburg, Germany. She's got homes in all the right places. What do you think about these women? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section.